priceless heritage, but it is a heritage that too often has been taken for granted. This is the story of that heritage, story of forestry in Florida, of its spectacular rise as a dominant force in the economy of the state, the tragic decline through misuse, and the long climb once again to a commanding place in Florida's economy. once a vast, primitive forest where billions of trees stood silently waiting for the culmination of their existence. Waiting, holding within their cells untold secrets. Waiting, their growth rings displaying a concentric record of yesteryears. Their seed, waiting to be thrown by a random wind upon the soil to begin another cycle of life. Silently waiting for the settler's axe and saw and the settlers came. The long wait was over. Centuries of solitude were now past. Millions of trees were torn from the soil and moved to the mills. Thus began the ascendancy of timber. At the turn of the century, the timber industry spiraling toward its peak was a massive giant. Great areas were stripped, and then the loggers moved on. For decade after decade, the cycle was repeated. Cut and move on. Cut and move on. Cut and move on. As the wheels of industry turned faster and faster, great stands of virgin timber vanished forever. And the day of reckoning finally arrived. Most of the forest giants were gone. Now, a crippled industry sprawled in the midst of the heedless handiwork of the past. When Ponce de Leon first saw Florida in 1513, there were about 27 million acres of virgin timber. Now, only 6 million acres remained of that vast forest treasure. But a change was in the wind, a change wrought by a small band of Floridians who formed a conservation organization. Their efforts led to the creation of the Florida Forest Service in 1928. The once abstract term, forest conservation, had become hard reality to be faced before it was too late. And the task of the service was staggering. Protect what was left, rebuild for the future. Florida suffered an oppressive burden, the worst forest fire record in the entire nation. Rangers faced a formidable enemy, armed with only the barest of weapons a naked perch in the sky for a fire detection tower, a pine top ripped from a nearby sapling for a fire suppression tool. And the start was finally made toward healing the abused land. The service established a small tree seedling nursery, and landowners were encouraged to replant for future crops. Bend and plant one tree. Bend and plant still another. A painfully slow process to be repeated millions of times in the years ahead. A new smoke appeared on the horizon in the 1930s, signaling revolutionary developments in forestry. A new market for timber had arrived the utilization of the pine tree in the pulp and paper process. Paperwood, they called it, and it was creating an industrial upheaval 
in Florida and throughout the South. The roots of a revolution were now firmly embedded. No one could discount the tragic lessons of the past. To provide a steady market for the mills and a steady income for the landowner, timber must be harvested to assure continuous crops. The Services County Forester Program was established in 1941 to help landowners develop their trees in this manner. Expert counsel from professional foresters was now available to the state's small woodland owners. No longer could it be considered a resource to mine only once in a lifetime. Timber was a resource that could and must be planted, grown, and harvested as a crop, like corn or cotton. But protection from the ever-present threat of wildfire remained as the most basic requirement of good forest management. County after county joined with the service in the organization of forest fire control units. Mechanization in the form of modern tractor and transport units. Steel lookout towers. Extensive two-way radio communication systems. And planes for aerial patrol. where wildfires once swept unchallenged through the forest. Now, well-trained, well-equipped rangers swiftly cut their toll to a minimum. A far cry from the primitive methods of the early 1930s, The influence of mechanization was felt in reforestation, too, where one man labored from daylight to dark, placing a few hundred seedlings in the soil. Now a two-man crew could plant 10,000. As demand for trees steadily swelled, the service expanded its facilities, establishing new nurseries in key locations. Trees for tomorrow's crops measured in the tens of millions. Today, Florida is one of the nation's leaders in reforestation efforts. Within the span of only a generation, a miraculous change evolved. Florida's forest industry rose from the ashes of near destruction to become once again a dominant force in the affairs of the state. Through the years of rebuilding the state's forest resources, a strong alliance was forged between landowner, industry, and the service. Trees were planted, protected, managed, and harvested wisely. Mill owner and landowner alike were now aware that the resource they depended upon was not inexhaustible. Together, they could stay in business only so long as it was properly managed. Now, the cycle of wood in a progressive forest economy is moving at full speed. Today, a strong, stable industry provides a livelihood for hundreds of thousands of Floridians, and it produces the state's second largest income, valued annually at more than $1 billion.
But as forest land steadily shrinks due to a rapidly expanding population and urban expansion, heavy pressures are placed upon available acreage to produce more and better trees. Through the services program of tree improvement, superior strains of pine trees are now being developed. For by the year 2000, our demand for wood products will have doubled today's requirements. New uses for wood are discovered almost daily. Who would have believed only one short generation past that such an exotic item as perfume could ever have that tree as its origin? The products that would stagger our imagination today will be commonplace tomorrow. Products made from Florida trees. The tragic mistakes of the past should never be repeated again. For now, through information and education programs, Floridians can keep pace with new developments in forestry. At the service's annual forestry training camp, sponsored by private industry, thousands of today's leaders in agriculture, industry, and government received their basic knowledge of forest conservation. The course in practical forestry includes the tactics of forest fire suppression. Even the boys agree that this is pretty hot work. Today, the multiple benefits we enjoy from Florida trees are celebrated in song and colorful parades. The King Tree Parade, a major attraction of Florida's annual forest festival. Heralding the fountainhead of Florida's forest wealth. Heralding the vital role played by Florida trees in soil, water, and wildlife conservation. A tribute to Florida trees. But perhaps the most priceless benefit of all from Florida trees is the haven for those who seek the great outdoors. For this is their forest, if only for a brief and memorable moment. Thank you.